he's moved stones up to or, uh, coral blocks up to 25 tonnes. And uh, he'd put them up overnight just on his own. After he died, I checked some of the instruments he was using and they're very, very primitive. Chisels and hammers and uh, ropes and pulleys and things. Nobody can understand even today now how he'd done this. I found when I applied the harmonic mathematical um, basis to his position on the Earth's surface geometrically, that the same harmonic values popped up on the area where he was. He always said that he had the secrets of anti-gravity and magnetic fields, and he also said that he knew how they built the pyramids. So it appears if he was telling the truth that um, it looks like he did have these secrets. Ed performed many strange experiments with magnetism, although he had no source of conventional electricity. He hinted to neighbors he was on the verge of a monumental breakthrough and published his preliminary results. His book, however, is as incomprehensible as Einstein's unified field theory. Just as Ed always worked in secret, he also preferred to take his own photographs, posing in his one suit with a self-timed box brownie. These films are not the best quality, but they are the only known movies of Ed Leedskalman. They were discovered in 1980 in the back of a closet. They reveal the Ed that most visitors knew. Animated, friendly, a simple man. same simplicity, Ed awoke one morning in December of 1951. He put on his one suit, hopped a bus, and checked into Miami's county hospital. The doctors were appalled to find him near death from malnutrition. For a while, he rallied under their care, and then died quietly in his sleep. Even after his death, Ed left a few surprises. Neighbors guarded the grounds until authorities could make an official investigation. They found his living quarters as spartan and as ingenious as the rest of Coral Castle. also found $3,800 in crisp $100 bills and what resembled a treasure map. All attempts to follow the directions on the map were futile. Nothing seemed to correspond to our normal three-dimensional geometry. Ed left many mysteries, a lot of money, and a castle for his sweet 16. Was she a real person? Or was she a dream, an ideal of all that is good? Children love to visit Coral Castle. They instinctively respond to the childlike sense of play which is so magnificently sculpted here. In his life, Edward Leeds Scalman carved and lifted over three million pounds of rock. Yet there is one small stone, weighing 50 pounds, which he never managed to lift. Ironically, on both sides of his simple grave in Miami are the graves of two little children. We think he would have felt at home. <laughs> 